Hey everybody, a uh, short video here about what I decided to do for the grounding system for my electrical for here at the shop and the, the house. Um, if you've been following along, we've got a 320 amp service with, uh, with split main lugs so I could feed the house and the shop. So this is a scenario where I don't just have one main panel, I kind of have two parallel main panels but a single service so there are a bunch of weird nec exceptions that go along with this from what i gathered and so it's not as simple as just running a grounding electrode conductor to ground rods um from one panel so i'm going to show you what i did and why i think this is to code i'm from a science standpoint i'm cool with it but uh i'll show you so to start off we drove two ground rods um one there Eight foot ground rod into the ground, a ladder and a T-post driver make a pretty quick work of that. And then we drove a second one down here. I need to pound them in a little further, but uh, this gives you the idea. So what you're supposed to do is two ground rods at least six feet apart. I did 10 feet just to conserve wire because I didn't buy a whole lot of it. Um, and then you run a um, number six uh wire to connect it all and it can be a bare copper wire which is what i decided to do so we've got our first ground wad rod we've got a continuous line of number six bare copper going along the building and we intersect with our second ground rod now if you notice here we didn't splice it it's just a continuous loop and that's required by code all the way until it goes up and terminates into the panel right there. Now, on a normal house, normal service, you'd be done. But this is the panel that feeds the house, and I've got another panel inside the garage, or inside the shop there. So what are we to do? Well, I certainly what you could do is you could run it from one panel, loop it through both ground rods, and then come back to the other panel and terminate, and you got one continuous loop, and that satisfies the uh, the code. Problem for me is that for me to do that, I'd be running like almost twice the wire. And it's not that expensive, but I'm trying to save every little bit. So I found an exception in the NEC that I think applies here that basically says in this situation, I can do a continuous uh, run of that number six from the pan from one of my panels all the way through to the ground rod, just like I showed you. But then to connect the other panel, it is perfectly acceptable for me to use a splice. And it doesn't end. It can be a removable splice. There's language in the NEC about an irre, like irrevocable or irre, irrevocable splice, basically a permanent joint, like a solder joint versus something like this. Like in my case, I used a split bolt to tap onto this uh, continuous feed. And I have the second wire that goes down out the panel through the building and comes up behind there all the way and lands on my other panel, as you see. So that's how I did my grounding. Um, if there are any electricians in the audience, feel free to let me know what I'm doing wrong here. I'll take all the advice I can get. This is just kind of one guy's way of doing it and to the best of my knowledge trying to do my homework reading the nec and trying to learn as much as i can about the craft on how to do this properly so uh